Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix stuttering and improve FPS for Persona 5 The Phantom X for the PC. So there are a couple of different steps, so try not to skip them. The first thing you want to do, of course, is uh, lower in-game graphics settings. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but basically set all the settings to uh, as low as they can go. But we're going to look at a couple of things outside of the graphic settings in the game to reduce stuttering. Of course, make sure that your GPU uh, GPUs are up to date. You also want to make sure that Windows itself is up to date. So type in settings, Windows update, and check for updates and update Windows. You also want to verify integrity of game files. How do you do that? Go to library, find the game here, right click on it, go to properties, go to installed files, and click on verify integrity of game files. This takes a couple of minutes to do but uh, it's definitely worth it. The next thing you want to do is uh, open task manager. So press uh, control shift and escape. And this will open task manager. You want to sort by either memory or CPU usage, probably memory. And uh, anything that you do not think is important, basically you want to right click and click end task and task and task and do that uh, and then restart the game and uh, basically see if that has fixed some issues the next thing you want to do is make sure all the overlays are on enabled so go to properties uh, make sure the overlay is off on steam and make sure the overlay if you're using discord is off as well you can do that by going user settings scroll down until you see game overlay and make sure that both of these overlays are turned off the next thing you want to do is to clear the game cache. So open a file explorer, go to C or wherever your default um, thing is, go to users, go to whatever user you are currently logged in as, go to app data. This is hidden by default, but you can click on view, show hidden items, click on app data, click on local. From here, go to PSX game, and you'll see something called cache. This has some cache files from the game. Now delete this entire folder and restart the game to see if that fixes the issue. This will be automatically recreated once you start the game. So do not worry uh, about that. The next thing you want to do is adjust some performance settings within Windows. You want to disable game mode. How do you do that? Type in settings here. On the left hand side, you see something called gaming. Click on that. Click on game mode and turn game mode off. Yes, this does um, affect a lot of games for whatever reason. You also want to turn off HAGS or Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. How do you do that on this as well? On the left hand side, you're going to see something called System. Click on that. Click on Display on the top. From here, go to Graphics. And from here, go to Advanced Graphics Settings. And from here, you're going to see Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Now you want to uh, turn this off. Yes, make sure that this is off. Next, you want to go to the power plan to high performance. How do you do that? Go to control panel. From here, go to hardware and sound. From here, go to power options. And from here, click on high performance not balanced. Okay, last but not least, let's run this game as an administrator. So find this game, go to right click on it, go to properties, installed files, browse, find the launcher, right click on it, click on properties. From here, click on the compatibility tab. And from here, you're gonna see something called run this program as an administrator. Click on that, hit apply, hit okay, and run the game as usual. That will run the game as an administrator and uh, that will fix a couple issues people are having. And last but not least, I would recommend using this software called exit lag this is a paid software the first three days are free you do not need a credit card the link is in the video description below what does this do this increases fps for your pc it gives you the best performance for every pc game you have you have a network analyzer here you have you can find the game in the library here you can find whatever region you're currently living at imply the roots and it will use ai to find the servers that are closest to you to give you the best ping it is very good i use it for all my online gaming again the link is in the video description below if this video did help you leave the video a like and please subscribe i really appreciate it have a nice day